In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can create the necessary artifacts in Dropbox. First, log on to Dropbox. Here, you can see uh, the main dashboard of Dropbox where you can create different folders and files. As you can see in the screen, I created a folder called Out of the Box EA. This is where uh, I'm going to store all the files that are received from SAP CPI. Now, to integrate uh, Dropbox with SAP CPI, you need to go to a different URL. It's a developer uh, portal where you can create all the necessary configuration for Dropbox API. So in this screen, you can see uh, you can create an app. Uh, for example, when you create an app, it will give you all the necessary uh, details for API integration. So I already created an app called Out of the Box de EA Demo. So if you open that app, so you can see um, uh, different uh, tabs here, settings, permissions, branding, and analytics. So if you go to the settings, uh, there you can see uh, the app folder name, uh, where the files will be stored. And you can see uh, the important thing is uh, app key and app secret. On the right hand side, you can see uh, the uh, security material screenshot from SAP CPI and you need to place those values uh, in a SAP CPI like that. So first you need to give a name and uh, give authorization URL and token service URL and redirect URL that you could uh, get from uh, service key. And the main important thing you need know, to add a uh, client ID, uh, which is the app key and uh, client certificate, which is uh, app secret. Okay, so these two are important parameters and then give the username of the Dropbox. Okay, in the redirect URL, uh, you need to give the redirect URL of the SAP CPI. And if you go to the permissions, there you can actually give the permissions uh, uh, necessary for the uh, API integration. Here I have given only write and read. Uh, file permissions, you can also give different permissions, but for this demo, we're going to use write and read permissions. Okay, and branding, you can also add some branding information of the uh, server and details, but I'm not going to change anything like that. And analytics, basically you can see how frequently the API is being called, how it is accessed, and all the uh, analytics uh, for the API calls, you can see it here. Okay, uh, so we have settings permissions, and then um, and we have uh, uh, let's go back uh, settings so this is actually um, the app that I created for this integration okay so I'm going to show you now how you can create a security material go to SAP CAPI monitoring security material and now click on create you can need to create a auth to authentication code okay here you need to enter the name as I suggested and give the authorization URL which are, uh, token URL which is standard and uh, this is the redirect URL that you need to use also in Dropbox okay and then uh, so already created click on this and then give the client ID and client secret so these two parameters that you get from Dropbox so give the provider as generic uh, as I explained and then client ID and client secret and give the username of the Dropbox once this is done so click on deploy okay then click on the button uh, authorize for example when you click on the authorize sap cpa will try to uh, call the auth of uh, dropbox and try to authorize your request okay then when you click on this authorize button so click on this authorize yeah click on this authorize and what happens is it will try to log into the target server it will generate a token for you so now you see you should see this message if there's successful authentication now we are good to go so the communication between sap cpa and dropbox is done so you can use this security material in your integration so i'm going to use this in the demonstration now